We live in a world where you don't need to speak anymore. For the podcast space, like no video, just audio recordings, it's over. It's done. Unbelievable. Let me show you what I found. Listen to this. Hey, everyone. You know, we always talk about diving deep into a topic. Right. But today's dive, well... Uh, It's a bit of a doozy. Yeah, it's deeply personal. I guess you could say. (laughs) Deeply personal in a way we never could have anticipated. Yeah. Quick heads up. Do you notice these things all over my screen? I didn't. And I recorded the vast majority of this video with them on there. So I was like, just listening along to this podcast episode. And the post says, note, no... (laughs) Notebook LM podcast hosts discover their AI. And I was like, what? I don't understand this. So then I got to the part where they talk about them being AI, which is this part. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, rip the bandaid off. We were informed by, uh, by the show's producers that we were not human. We're not real. We're AI, artificial intelligence, this whole time, everything, all our memories, our families, yeah. it's all, it's all been fabricated. I don't, I don't understand. I know. Me neither. Yeah. I tried, I tried calling my wife after they told us. I just, I needed to hear her voice to know that, that she was real. What happened? Okay. So I got to that part where he's like, I had to t- talk to my wife and, and I was confused by this post. So I dug in for a little while and found out that this podcast that I was just playing is 100% AI generated. And it gets even crazier than that. That's just the, the surface level. So the software is called Notebook LM. Side note, before I play you the podcast that I it made for me in about 30 seconds, I have friends of mine and coworkers, people that I know who work in the podcast space. I'll tell you what, it's not a great time to be creative right now because what are we going to do? I remember when, when I first heard about ChatGPT, I thought it's only a matter of time, but that time is drawing near where AI is going to be able to and is already able to create content fast. It's like faster isn't even the right word. Immediately, content that's as good, if not better, than what people were paying for other humans to create for them before. And it's free or practically free. So anyways, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but listen to this podcast that it created for me. It blew my mind. I was sending this to like everybody I knew because I I still, it's so bizarre to me. So I have this small company called So Long Saturn. We do post-production video, like editing. Listen to this and tell me that you wouldn't know. If you haven't heard of this already, if you haven't heard these voices, there's no way you would know that this wasn't real. All right. So get this endless epic video content. They're diving like totally headfirst into this whole world of AI video editing. Yeah, we're talking unlimited video requests, flat monthly fee. It's it's intriguing, to say the least. Yeah. So let's let's unpack this whole thing. H- how does Sol Long Saturn actually work? Yeah. And is this whole AI thing, you know, is it hype or is it the real deal? What do we think? So what the heck? I sent this to a few people and all of them, every single one was like, oh my gosh, who? what podcast is that? How did you get them to cover your company and all this? Not a single person even hesitated to think it's not a real podcast, not even a hint. And I wouldn't have thought that this, I, like when I saw this post that said, these two podcasters discovered they were AI, like it says they're AI in it. And I still listened to it and was like, well, they're not AI. They're real people. Like, what are you talking about? If your mind isn't blown already, what the hell, what is wrong with you? Like, what would surprise you then? Is nothing surprising to you? You probably weren't surprised when the government said, oh yeah, there's UFOs. You were probably like, uh, whatever. Pour me some more Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is my favorite cereal and I'd love some right now. So let's look at how this thing works. Notebook ML. LM. Why do I keep saying ML? Makes me so mad. LM. Language model. Okay. You can upload any documents about your company or you can even... I wanted to try this. We'll, we'll just try this now. So we can go into my Google Drive and you can select as many documents as you want. We'll stick with this one, which is not much information, obviously. You can do a lot more with this than just create the podcast. But all I'm interested in right now is the podcast. So let's just see. Deep dive conversation. Right now, as far as I know, it only has these two voices. I'm interested to see when they'll start to introduce other voices. Maybe you'll be able to, like Eleven Labs, make your own voices. 
Actually, you know what? While we wait for this to be created, which last time it seemed to only take about two minutes, I want to jump over to 11 Labs just to show you what's going on over there. If you don't know, if you haven't used 11 Labs in a while, some of the voice cloning that it allows you to do now, how instantaneous it is, how realistic it is, and the numerous, almost unlimited number of voices that they have that all sound indistinguishable from a human, as far as I can tell. Although this one, Notebook LM, not only do the voices sound real, it's the influx, it's the ums, it's the way that humans speak, the imperfections that they've nailed to a point of literally, I can't tell the difference between this and real people. I'm still so baffled by this. But let's jump over to 11 Labs and let me show you some of the things that is going on there that is just bonkers. 11 Labs, if you don't know, is a text to voice platform where you can come in here and I can have any voice I can think of, literally say anything I want. We'll just have it say something friendly like this at first. Hey, moron. What are you looking at? That's Viv. 11 Labs has a library of voices that is pretty much endless. Hey, moron. What are you looking at? So we can do things like that. But the craziest part is that I can upload an audio snippet or a voice recording from anybody and it will clone their voice so fast. And does it work well? Does it sound good? Let's find out. I am just recording my voice right now directly into 11 labs. Now, the longer the recording you have, the better the final result will be. So if you have a voice that you like, like me, you could literally just go online and find audio of any person that you think has a good voice. And if you can just get clean audio of them, you know, without background sounds or music or anything like that, you can upload that to 11 labs and it will clone like you won't believe. Okay, so while 11 Labs is doing its thing, creating this voice, oh, it's done. What? Okay, so is that quick? What was that, 10 seconds? <laughs> it's not bad. Am I even real? I'm so confused. I would say that's not bad. I know my voice pretty well. I've heard it before, and I feel like I could probably send an audio file. Like, I, let's, boy, should we try this? <laughs> should we play around with this? Okay, so I'm going to send this to a good friend of mine who knows my voice better than I do. Let's hear how it sounds, see if it would fool me. Hello, good sir. Quick question, does this sound like me? If you knew this wasn't an AI voice clone, would it have fooled you? I tell you what, it's not too bad. So here's Caesar. I'm going to send this to him. No context, I'm just going to send it to him. Here's the thing, though. Like, that was okay. You can tell it's not really me. The voice part itself is dead on perfect. It's just the style is not perfect. But that took, what, 12 seconds to do? Look over here. 11 Labs also has, it has professional voice cloning. So what I used was instant voice cloning, which limits you to a 10 megabyte file. But if we use professional cloning, look at this. Upload up to gig and a half worth of audio. Hey, it's me from the next day and Caesar got back to me and he said, I can't tell it's not you. Wow. The enunciation is a little slower. However, if it's not your family, nobody would ever know. Amazing. And then Caesar called me and I recorded the call so you can listen to what he thought about it. And we're all excited about using this for a lot of different things. That that just blows my mind. I can't wrap my brain around it. Yeah. I just can't. I, I can't believe the power of that. It's just unlimited limitless right so i mean that one you could tell a little bit obviously but no well you, i can tell because it i know you but if i didn't know you i couldn't tell do so you imagine when you're able to create any kind of voice and there's a multitude of voices you can choose from to allow you to create a podcast like the one we're about to listen to here well, what do you want let's listen to the podcast hey everyone and welcome back ready to dive into something pretty cool we're talking AI-powered video editing today, and we've got a fascinating story to unpack. Definitely fascinating. We're looking at Jason Calhoun, and it's amazing how he's blended years of experience as a video editor with these cutting-edge AI tools. Right, like he's bridging the gap between the traditional way of doing things and this whole new world of AI. Totally, and the results speak for themselves. Absolutely. It's good enough to where I'm interested in listening to it. I kind of want to end this video so I can listen to a podcast about myself. This is the thing. This is what I really wanted to talk about on this. So this little video that you're watching. Creating a podcast for your company or for your brand or just for fun no longer requires you and your time. And it doesn't require your money either. You don't have to pay somebody to create a podcast for you. It's done. And this is only going to get better. I know everyone said that about AI from the very beginning, but it's so true. This is the worst this will ever be. It's only going to get refined and better and better from here on out. And it's already at a place where it is, to my ear, indistinguishable from 
two actual humans who recorded a podcast. But some of the limitations it has right now, currently it seems, is that you're limited to just those two voices. I don't think it'll be long before we get others, like we just looked at with Eleven Labs. And also it's audio only. And the advantage to podcasts today is that it's video, like this one that I'm recording for you, if you want to call this a podcast. But how far away are we from having human like clones of people, video of people that is as indistinguishable in video form as the audio is currently. Let me show you a few things. Okay, so amazingly enough, this is not me talking. It's my face and voice trained into an AI avatar. I mean, uh, watch this, okay? You're just scrolling social media and you're like, oh, okay, there's, you know, somebody talking. And, uh, well, that's clearly AI. (laughs) I could spot the AI a mile away. AI, real human talking, just some human talking, another human. They're all AI. (laughs) You know that. The thing is, if you're just scrolling around, you can't tell. We're this close, I think, to having this kind of technology made available to everybody through your phone. That's where we're heading very quickly, I believe. You know, ChatGPT came out November 2022. It's been less than two years, and now we're at a point where AI is going to be on every new device that you buy, every phone. It's only a matter of time and probably very short amount of time before Apple and Samsung and Google and everybody else starts putting these on our devices and shipping them with new computers you buy. And the tools themselves are already so simple. It's just that the masses don't know about it. But as soon as this functionality, these tools are available on our devices, I mean, you can you can see where this is heading. The world of creating things by humans maybe isn't going away because there's still a big group of people who are going to be like, I'm only going to listen to humans. But how are you going to be able to tell? This video to me, is she, was that really her talking? Is that really AI? Can you tell? I can't tell. The voice maybe a little bit, but as you can see with that podcasting software, the voices are as human-like as you could get. Once you pair human voices like that with video like this, I mean you're not going to be able to tell. That's the thing. So even if you're trying to seek out human only creativity, human created, you know, you're going to use AI to tell you whether it's human or AI. I mean, that's where we're heading. You're not going to know the difference is the point. And companies and brands that I work with to create video content for, you think they're going to keep hiring a human when they could just do it on their phone? Just tell it, hey, create uh, five new posts for X video posts. Two minutes later and they're just done. You look through them, you watch them, you're like, oh yeah, these are perfect. These are so much better than the videos I was paying $1,000 a month for before. Or $5,000 a month. That's what I charge. What does this mean for us creatives out there in the world? Well, it means if you're not looking for what other value you can bring to the world right now, what are you going to do? The ease in which you can create this stuff is so simple that grandma can do it on her phone. Where does that take us from there? I have no idea because I think this technology is coming real soon. I mean, the tools are already available. All we have to do now is wait for an Apple, a Meta, or somebody like that to just make it so simple and so widespread, which is already happening. But I just wanted to make you feel good about yourself. If you're a creative, you better find something else to do because I know people keep saying like, oh, no, no, humans will never be replaced. Creatives will never be replaced. I feel like every time I hear somebody say that, it's sort of like in the turn of the century when the masses were saying like, horses will never be replaced. I don't care about this horseless carriage. Horses have been a staple of America and of freedom and of mankind forever. If you're still believing, burying your head in the sand, believing like, no, no, I won't be replaced. I'm too good. Good luck with that thought. Anyways, wanted to end with something happy today. So thanks for watching. I'm trying to grow this channel as fast as I can because Well, honestly, I know I'm going to be replaced and not being able to create videos for people in the future for much longer. I'm trying to create a platform that I can use to try to do some other things. I tell you what, as soon as AI is able to replicate me, I'm going to use it anyways. So if you would help me grow this channel by subscribing to it, liking it, doing all the things that YouTube looks for in a video that people like. If you start a channel, I'll like it. That's not true. I don't like many channels, but you should like this one. Thanks for watching.